All right, thank you everyone for having me today. Thank you for coming. My name is Rene Strazinski Franco, and I am here to tell you a little bit about my life as a Slovak American. So I was born and raised in Sarasota, Florida, and as you can tell, I'm kind of a professional beach bum when I'm at home. Uh, one of my main hobbies is surfing, and there's me with my cousin Marco. Um, we just love to go to the beach, and my parents immigrated to the U.S. in 1992 and 1993 um, from what is now Slovakia, but they were born in Czechoslovakia. And my family is from a little town called Pezinok, and we are famous for our wine. Has anyone here been in Pezinok before? No? Oh yeah, we have one. Okay, nice. Okay, well, our wine is really good, so that's what we take our pride in. Um, and I grew up uh, speaking Slovak, visiting Slovakia in the summers, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and I have some really great um, photographs from these trips. And one of those photography collections will actually be uh, published in the print version of the Birch in this uh, next cycle, which is exciting. And I also got those um, photographs accepted in Troika, which is Berkeley's undergraduate Slavic magazine. Um, oh, not pictured. I actually was able to meet the Slovak president in the Slovak church not far from here, and she was um, talking to students and Slovak educators about their experience in the U.S., which was very cool. And obviously, I cannot go through this presentation with talking about um, my career in swimming, which I have been doing since I was seven years old, and it actually came to an end this last month um, in my last conference competition. My main events um, have always been freestyle, and I've been swimming, you know, the 200 and the 500 freestyle for a really long time. But this last season, I actually made a switch to sprint freestyle, which was very fun. And I'm glad I did not have to put myself through the pain of swimming 500 yards again, ever again <laughs> in my life. And my professional experience. Uh, one of my majors at Columbia is biology. Um, I am also pre-med, but I have decided to not pursue medical school for various reasons. Um, but, you know, I still love STEM, and in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, I began working at a private COVID laboratory in Sarasota, Florida, and if you guys know, Florida was one of the states with the highest number of COVID infection rates, so it was very crazy to work at a COVID laboratory at that time, but that experience was very amazing. That's me on the left. Um, I think I was accessioning patient data or something like that. But that experience ultimately led me to Pfizer, um, where I worked last summer as a commercial strategy intern. Um, and that sort of solidified my love for science at the intersection um, of business. So that is actually what I'm hoping to do upon graduation, but I'm still looking for work, so we'll see what happens. And this is my latest um, academic project, which sort of aligns with my second area of study at Columbia. Um, in my uh, Slavic studies, I study the Russian language and culture. Um, and I will be presenting this at this conference that I still do not know how to pronounce. But it's titled, <laughs> Russian Celebrities as Foreign Agents in the Invasion of Ukraine. And this is actually thanks to my uh, third year Russian teacher. She sort of inspired me to write an academic piece on this and I will be exploring the influence of Russian celebrities labeled as foreign agents um, on public views amid the Ukraine conflict. And I'll, one of the people that I wanna focus on is Alla Pugachova and her husband. Um, and yeah, it's interesting because celebrities really challenge Russia's official stance on Ukraine, um, and they risk personal repercussions on this, and their dissent kind of highlights resistance within Russian society and impacts pu public discourse more than we know. Um, and, you know, celebrities are kind of in a unique position in that way, and that is what I want to highlight. And what's next? Um, I'm very proud to say that I will be the first college graduate in my family, and right now, I don't really know what's next. Still looking for work, but um, in the next year, which I will treat as a gap year, I'm also planning on applying to graduate school um, in Slavic studies or linguistics, so... I have some big decisions to make, but I think um, in this next year being out of school, it'll be definitely a time to clear my mind and make those decisions. And that is all, thank you so much.